<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Two Dykes and a Mic. I'm Mackenzie Goodwin. And I'm Rachel Scanlon. Today on the podcast, we have breaking news. We do? Yeah. What? I was going to say what? about Taylor, but oh. she didn't come out yet. Oh, so it's like a we wish. Yeah, like a we 100% wish. I know. But G- we do have a very exciting episode. We do. You know who we have on? EJ Marcus. Super fucking funny. Also on our softball team. Yeah. Also comedian, fucking character genius. Yeah. Comedian and Jay extraordinary. Is the day is long. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. I'm so, we had such a good time with EJ. Like, I just, it was a ball of laughter. All I want to do is bond with queer people agreed and i don't think that i'm asking for too much no you are not you guys are in for a treat before we jump into the episode make sure you check out we've added new cities and the tickets are flying so make sure you get one and please right now review the podcast leave a nice little review here's the thing i can see the numbers um i know most of you have not rated or reviewed the podcast and that's on itunes that's on spotify so get your little gay asses up. <laughs> yeah yell at them no i'm not gonna yell at you but feel free to leave us a review it does help yeah and um here's the thing you and i recently we had one of our uh, live episodes on Patreon. Mm-hmm. So if you're a $10 patron, you get to see us once a month. We do a live episode where you can ask us questions. You can do live bumble fumbles. It's so much fun. We mm-hmm. have a great time. And I had like a epiphany during. Do you remember? Oh, are we you just? Sh- yeah. Yeah. So we were, somebody asked a question and I think it was about. Yeah. We do like these monthly live interactive episodes. Yeah. And somebody asked you. I think about being closeted Mm -hmm. and health. Yeah. Which people typically, this is something about being closeted that like I've never thought about before. And you said this thing and I wanted you to to share it on the podcast because I think it's hysterical. And I also think that it's something that should be said on record. Yeah. Okay. So what happened is some, yeah, somebody brought up like being closeted and coming out. And I said that when I was closeted, it took a huge toll on my body. Like, cause you know that I have i'm riddled with anxiety constantly totally and my body also shows my anxiety very physically like Mm -hmm. i'm always getting hives i got hives when i was like gonna propose to erica for three months before and three months after like anxiety just ruins my body and when i was a kid i obviously knew i was gay and i was closeted and that's around the time i started having pretty intense stomach issues where i had three endoscopies before I was age 16. Come on. So I was in and out of the hospital a lot doing different types of procedures, different types of testing. And I remember just being like, wow, what is this? And they never knew what it was. They diagnosed me with celiac for years. Oh my gosh. So I was on like medication. I'm really picturing house. You know, they're like our child. We don't know what's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Running tests, running tests. Yes, that was me. I was always like being put under to do different types of tests on my like internal tracks go off well it it sucked it was not fun and i was always drinking weird concoctions and they were trying to figure out what the hell was going on and then i also had really bad skin growing up like bad acne i was always um trying new things going to different dermatologists and right when i came out all of that stopped stop so when i finally hard stop it was like a couple months because i do think anxiety and different types of whatever the hormones are it took some months for me to come down but it was like within the year of me coming out all my stomach problems went away and my skin cleared up oh my god which is kind of crazy but it i guess it just shows that you know when you have that type of secret that you're holding on to it can come out in a lot of different ways I think that that's insane. It is. That the yeah. body was rejecting heterosexuality. Yeah, it was. Like, truly. Like, that being was never closeted was ruining your health. Yeah. Yes. I was never in a state of comfort throughout my teens. And yeah, because I came out when I was 19. Maybe this kind of ties into our theory that, like, lesbians age so well. Mm-hmm. I think being your true self is good for your health i think it is i think it makes your skin glow i think you look hotter if you're just like open with who you are Mm -hmm. yeah i think this is more of a psa on like please come out of the closet yeah it's good for your gi tract Mm -hmm. it is crazy i've and you know now i have one of the strongest stomachs true i can eat almost anything i do believe that we are the only queer people that are not gluten or dairy intolerant yeah 
I the uh, the only lesbians I know that can actually eat and enjoy dairy products are me and Mackenzie Goodwin, and you heard it here first. Yeah, that's just being honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. If you're honest with yourself, your body's at a ten. If you're honest with yourself, your body will digest and break down glutens. Mm-hmm. But if you have any type of secret. You're fucked. You're absolutely fucked and it will show on your face yeah. and your stomach. Yeah, truly. Wow. I'm so glad that you came out and got healthier. I know. It, it is bizarre to like think back to those times where it was so many years, like truly so many years of like painstaking, like me being in the hospital and do, like horrible things. I'm Now I'm picturing Gregory House being like, well, I solved it, pops a pill and goes, she's gay. Yeah. And then leaves. You could write that into a show and it could be based on a true story. A hundred percent. At this point. Yeah. My story is. Solved the mystery. Being, your daughter's gay. Kissing a woman made me better. And then here comes 13. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It all makes sense. Let's get into the episode. Enjoy this episode with the one and only EJ Marcus. Uh, Mackenzie and I are matching. It was an accident. It's fine. We're moving right along. Hi, <laughs> welcome to Two Dice and Mike. My name is Rachel Scanlon. I'm Mackenzie Goodwin. And today we have the one and only EJ Marcus. EJ, say hi. Hi. We're so glad that you're here. <laughs> Thanks for being on the podcast. Thank I'm you. so happy to be here. Little fun fact, we're all on the same softball team. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> I can. I think qu- queers in LA are all flooding to sports recently. Yes. Yeah, I feel like that's really true. It's kickball, it's softball, mm-hmm. it's pickleball. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it, we're mm-hmm. all playing it. Yeah. yeah. I With wish I other. was on kickball, if I'm being honest. Me Do too. You? I'm like ready for a kickball <laughs> change. I want that. Kickball, kickball change. change. Okay. okay. A dancer. A different <laughs> kind of queer. Um, uh, I feel like kickball, and I don't want to like be like an asshole to you guys, but is like dumb and not fun. Okay. Imagine I end the episode <laughs> right here. Yeah, turn off. Like softball, when you when you crack a ball, <laughs> when you crack thing. it out into the field, yeah. or even when you catch a pop fly in the mitt, mm-hmm. yeah. that to me is one of my top five favorite feelings. Mm-hmm. And then kickball, you're like, okay, or am I playing soccer? That's why you like it, because you like soccer. Like, well, it's also kind of like rude of you to talk about the whole like catching a fly pop or whatever, because I sort of, those are sensations that I don't feel when I'm playing softball right. because see. I'm not good at it. Okay, I get it. So you're not getting those types of moments. I don't get the thwack of oh, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. The thwack. See, I could just be at a softball game watching from the audience. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> and I think the audio, like the sound of a ball hitting a bat turns mm-hmm. me on. Oh, yes. I love the audio 100%. of softball. Yeah, the ASMR of a softball, even just like a cleat mm-hmm. kind of hitting the gravel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to take mm-hmm. me there. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to play anymore. <gasps> no. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, We're not here to have you on to talk about softball. I wish. Oh, that would be cool <laughs> and i would do it i know but we are we genuinely are on, on the bat middlers shout out bat middlers. bat middlers i keep running into us in the wild we were just at the angel city game and we saw like our pitcher oh my i was God. like are we're all, yeah bats are out here just fucking the bats are out here I flying love, high yeah i will say i do love that we're called the bat middlers yeah there was um a person on the other team the other day that was asking everybody if she could buy the shirt off of us because it was so cool. It's Hell our branding no. is so good. <laughs> our branding, no. I mean, Batman. She was like, "My friend loves Bat Midler." Yeah, we're really cute. Yeah. You got to join really, the team yeah. to get the shirt. Yeah, yeah. sorry, we yeah. should have all worn our shirts if we had remembered <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um. So, EJ, how did yeah. you get into comedy? Oh, um, I got into comedy by just being myself. <laughs> Being funny. I, by being funny no i i kind of started doing comedy stuff when i was in like college mm-hmm. um i was on a sketch it was sort of like a sketch eh, we did sketches we did like videos and stuff and i was pretty into that um yeah i <laughs> and now you've been doing stand-up and now i do some stand-up i'm working on um a solo show. Come oh, on. Shit. Yeah. What's it called? Tell us about it. Um, it's called I Can Show You. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I would say it's kind of like a mix between like storytelling and characters and stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of my whole thing. That's, that's so amazing. Fun. Thanks, guys. That's oh so God. exciting. Yeah. I'm excited about it. A one person show. Yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of love. Yeah. And I've never really done anything like it. Mm-hmm. I think it's feeling like a good exercise in like, what can I do? I yeah. love that. <laughs> and where is it going to be at? 
Um, I'm having two open rehearsals at public displays of Altadena. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. One of them is a week from today. Oh, shit. And then another is a week from that day. And then I'm doing um, on August 1st at the Elysian. (gasps) This Incredible. is going to be so fun. We've yeah. got to go. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, you can go watch. you got to go. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> At the Elysian. Yeah. 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 This oh is my huge. God. So your character work, because I've seen a lot of your TikToks. Okay. Um, they are so relatable even when they're not relatable. What is that? Oh. Yeah. What is yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I would say that's like I am a little bit obsessed with um, like... L- watching people <laughs> mm, okay. i like really like to um when i like to mimic the way that people talk i make myself i, 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 yeah, I was gonna I say like your cadences <laughs> are hitting so hard i really appreciate that yeah i think that was i i think that's just always something that i've been really into i was kind of like a loner kid mm-hmm. so i think i would i spent a lot of time um just trying to like understand the way that people talked and being obsessed by the P- ways that people are weird too yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and and that was just kind of then i just kind of started making videos based on that they're so fucking funny <laughs> yeah true yeah. thank you facts fucking facts <laughs> thank you so much okay should we get into our first ask yeah we have an ask a dyke and if you guys have an ask a dyke that you want to hear on the podcast you can email us or you can send it into the dyke hotline which is going to be on the screen right here or in the podcast description gotta ask a dyke tonight i've got to ask a dyke tonight i've got to know so the subject line is maybe i'm a side chick interesting drama so it starts with i might be in a romantic relationship with a girl who i call my best friend just so we can stay close oh my god oh my god let's call her sarah i met sarah by chance a chance encounter through a friend a little over a year ago we hit it off really well but only saw each other about once a month eventually in conversation she casually mentioned that she was into women which got my attention since i uh since she was dating a man at the time okay. and i'm also bisexual so i wanted to work it into conversation eventually mm-hmm. and they we've do. all been there i'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. like i see somebody gay and i want to work it in yeah to conversation whenever mm-hmm. i meet somebody i try to be like oh and b- my girlfriend said this you know you should just when you meet them they say something do a death drop <laughs> yeah yes that's how you, you know always that's, that's what i was gonna say yeah. so yeah, 100%. yeah. That's exactly yeah. i feel like my mullet is doing a lot more work now thank goodness yeah, you don't yeah, I, I was to gonna do say i drop. don't know if anyone would kind of <laughs> <laughs> be surprised necessarily <laughs> thank god it hurt, though when you're like i'm gay and you want people to be like what? i would have never <laughs> but you got it you yeah no yeah. it happens to me all the time where they're like yeah we know <laughs> <laughs> well your jawline i guess yeah yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, once I got, I got the chance to mention it, there was a huge shift. She became incredibly flirty oh and really amped God. up conversations about sexual, na- sexual <laughs> I'm things. I'm getting so stressed <laughs> out. <laughs> All while constantly still talking about her boyfriend. So we, we would stay up super late talking. And one night she shared some pers- personal difficult things with me. So I got up to give her a hug and to make things a little lighter. I made a joke about how I wasn't making a move. I just want to say how sorry I was for what happened to her. And her response is, we're going to have to start having to do that now, huh? To hugging? No, I think clarifying clarifying that you're not making a move, maybe. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things mm-hmm. were intense from there on out. We hung out every week. She was giving me compliments, lots of touching, yeah. getting me alone in a group, leaning in really close when we talked with our legs touching. Oh. The plain old saying flirty things. Mm-hmm. People were noticing. <laughs> People were noticing. People were noticing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they were. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, People were noticing, and when we would go out, strangers talking to us would almost always would almost always ask us if we were together. She got engaged to her boyfriend during this time too. Oh my Uh-oh. god! Fuck. Well, <laughs> after her engagement, she would go from very hot to very cold, and mentioned she needed to spend more time with her fiance. Okay, pause. This poor guy. How many <laughs> times do you think her fiance was like, "Can you cut that out? Yeah. Can you stop hanging out with?" so and so i wonder if he was even like aware that's what i was gonna say it's a guilt thing it depends it really depends on the vibe of the fiance because there are definitely some men who are like she loves her friends yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) like has completely zero idea or like are completely unthreatened by any type of like queerness where they're like well whatever what are they gonna do without this dick yeah yeah Yeah. you know i could see that and it's her being more guilty because she knows she likes this person for sure yeah she's projecting a bit yeah. yeah yeah okay so um and she needs to start being better to him. 
We've never hooked up, but have gotten very close to it. I'm very against cheating. Neither of us had talked about uh, any of the flirtation beha- flirtatious behavior or addressed how we were feeling. We were both acting like nothing was happening. Mm-hmm. This has been going on for over a year now. Oh, oh my no. God. How are you sleeping? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, while the two of us were out of town on a trip together, someone asked us if we were interested in hooking up with each other, and we both said yes. Oh my Who God. Who asked you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, a plant? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> This opened up much over a much overdue conversation where she said she had thought she may be in love with me. Okay. I didn't know what to say and didn't want to mess it up, so I just smiled at her. Oh, oh man. And we never really mentioned that night ever again. Still haven't mentioned it? No. Whew. While drinking a few months later, I tried to talk about it, and she said, we've been through this already. You're pretty much my girlfriend. I hate that. I know. Sorry, I hate that yeah. so that's much. That's, that's like so... Especially because she's engaged to a man. I just have this. That has happened to me so many times. Yeah. Where like somebody who is in a relationship with a guy will be like, but you're, but we, everyone knows like you're my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've gotten very close with her family and other friends who know me as her best friend. I'm the maid of honor at her wedding. No. I realized that that this is have your cake and eat it too situation where I and her fiance get the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. She has even recently said that she gets such strong emotional connections with people. The only difference with her fiance is that they are sexually exclusive. Yeah. So she's getting all her emotional needs met from this friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The touching and intense flirting has died down significantly, but it's hard realizing that, us being best friends has actually just been me being a part of the relationship where I'm just an option for her. Oh, that's so hurtful. I know. It's really taken a toll on me and to be second place to her. (gasps) Do I need to cut ties to get out of this? She's genuinely my best friend, but her treating me like a partner until she leaves at the end of the day makes me incredibly sad. Where do I draw the line? Anonymous. Oh, man. That's rough. This is tough, and I want you to know, Mm. the person who wrote this, that this happens, or this has happened a lot yeah. To a lot yeah. of queer people. Yes. So yeah. this is like a, a thing that I feel like a lot of us will fall into where we value our friendship so much and we get so close to each mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. in a way where all of these intimacy, m- intimate moments and intimacies and emotional needs are being met. But there is this like fiance or who whoever. Yeah. And like that happens a lot of times. And yeah. I was weirdly I like read this to Nazara and I typically like I was, I don't know. I was like having a night where I was like, let's fucking dive into this. Yeah. And I, I love doing that. I'm like, you want to hear this, babe? Because <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I get so when it comes to these things, I can I feel so fired up because I want to like reach back into my own past and be like, they don't love you. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I feel like queer people, we clock every moment we've had with people. We like, they touched my knee. Mm-hmm. They call. They like. I feel like we make this case for like they have to be in love with me. Yeah. But, like, I feel like I was telling Nazara this, and Nazara wanted me to say that there will be people that don't leave at the end of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there will be. Yeah. There really That will. feeling of, like, I gave everything, the only difference is that she leaves. But, like, there will be people that don't. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. Has this ever happened to you guys? Not exactly in this way, but definitely in ways where I guess I've I've been dating someone who has been reluctant to commit and then there has and then you know a month later is committing very strongly with a man in a way that feels like fuck pointed (laughs) it's hard not to be like okay so what was missing about our thing right um especially when and i feel like queer people love to you know over communicate sometimes it doesn't sound like maybe this is i i don't know i have a lot of questions about the communication here to be honest (laughs) but (laughs) but i'm like I don't know. I feel like able to give like lengthy explanations of like, oh, like I love you so much in this way and you give me these things and we have this connection and then, but there's something stopping me and I can't place what it is, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And you're left being like, yeah, I, th- I don't know what that thing is. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I think like the end of this email too, like I feel like this listener knows mm-hmm. like this friend of mine is getting the best of both yeah. and I'm getting the worst of it. We're like, and I feel like also even this person has compassion for the fiance yeah. is like, 
he's not getting everything because right. you're giving me so much intimacy and you're giving him the sex mm-hmm. and she's getting everything and him and I are not getting enough yeah. that I feel like they're getting really close to the question is like, do I have to break off this friendship with her because it's hurtful? See my, I would say yes. You think yes. Because I think this is one of the only times where an ultimatum actually will is meant for this type of situation do you know what i mean like i would sit your friend down and be like you're putting me in one of the worst positions ever Mm -hmm. i'm in love with you you're in love with me Mm -hmm. and you're the one that's not letting this happen because you're engaged to a man who is not fulfilling your needs Mm -hmm. right and i would say to this person that you can no longer continue this relationship because they are both lying to each other yeah you know? I think it's too much. I think this friend is taking up too much space in your brain. Yes. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I think a lot of times that does happen. But mm-hmm. this is a time where if you if you let this friendship take up less space in your life, you'll probably have more room to meet other people that meet more of your needs. Yeah. yeah. So it's taking away. And maybe you don't have to cut it off completely. But, this would is you a friend. Want, but would you want this person in your life who you both, you know that this person likes you and you know that you're in love with this person? Ooh. Like, yeah. you, how are you going to move on when you're in love with somebody who you know is a good person to you? I don't know. I've it, not in the sense of like, this person is doing the right thing right now, but like, mm-hmm. they obviously have a connection yeah. and maybe the sex would be fire. You know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that would ruin my brain. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've been, I feel like I've been in a lot of weddings where I was like, you, you're in love with me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> do you, um... um <laughs> You guys know what I mean, right? Uh, I, I've been in a lot. So how many? Like one, two, three. I mean, if I had a dollar for every time, I could probably buy us another microphone. No, I have a side question. Yeah. Um. Well, do these people know who you are? Not typically, are you but like I feel like there's definitely weddings? a vibe. You know what I mean? I'm the bartender in <laughs> yeah, the back. I was yeah. going to say, I don't think you are attending. There's definitely a vibe you, when they're ordering wedding, their drink. Are you a wedding invite? <laughs> invite you. Are you standing outside the building? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm parking the cars. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I think, yeah. like, the, this is, like, definitely a situation where, like, you can tell that they know that this is too much totally. of a yeah. thing. And it's just up to you how much you still want to hold on to. I personally think with time, this will Face like out. become less of a thing. Like yeah. it's, it's coming to a head right now because she's getting married and you're the maid of honor. And like, there's a lot going on, but I think we all know that this eventually will have to I disagree. change. I think in five years, this woman is going to cheat on her husband with you. Are you serious? Yes. Well, I, think, yes. <laughs> I think both of those things can be true. Like, I feel like a frank conversation is in order. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's at the point where you need to be like, we got to talk about it. Cause it doesn't sound like there's been like full, it sounds like you guys have like led up to the ledge yeah. and then you haven't exactly really spoken it into an existence so i feel like a frank conversation depending on her reaction she might be like no 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 yeah i'm gonna marry this man and yeah. you're gonna be my maid of honor at which case you do have a choice to make mm-hmm. and then also you she might cheat on her husband in, yeah. <laughs> in five years i you. think you're right they've never <laughs> had like they've They've said truths out yeah. loud, but it's been more flirty. It's still like they're not sitting down and talking about the facts. Yeah. yeah. It is I, like, but I think the yeah. facts are when somebody is telling you they're engaged to somebody else, but all of that, that I'm other in love shit, with you. Yeah. it doesn't matter. The It doesn't matter. All of that. Like, I feel like we are. Yeah. I did this a lot when I was in my younger 20s where I would collect moments of proof that like this person liked me yeah just to make just to tell myself well it doesn't matter that they have a boyfriend Mm -hmm. because i know that we have this thing that is a connection that is bigger than that but like were these people like like coming out and being like i'm in love with you because that is what the email said yes okay because i've Mm -hmm. had but i was i've had i know that this isn't like a closeted situation Mm -hmm. these are both openly queer people but i think that the sentiment is still there yeah they're not available for what you're looking for Mm -hmm. true and like it doesn't matter that they sit you down it doesn't matter if they fuck you it doesn't matter if they like hold your knee or whatever Mm -hmm. like when it really comes down to it this person is very confused and like you are unavailable yeah they're unavailable and you're like i think like queer friendships and i'm gonna say this one time and i'm gonna say i've never said it Queer friendships could use a lot more boundaries. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm telling myself mostly in the past. You say but that. You say and that I'm the now. most heavily unboundaried person. Yeah, you and I share bets. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. It's really it's hard, hard to make boundaries like that. Yeah. It is. Because you're like, but we love each other so much and our love is limitless. Yes. And the thing about that is it's gorgeous and I love it. Mm-hmm. But also... Yeah, yeah. Then there's like a time and a place kind of. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like anytime <laughs> you're making me feel sad for your male fiance, now I'm upset. Don't make me feel compassionate right. for a man. Yeah. Just don't make me feel bad for a man. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Ever. We have a bumble fumble now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the question. Yeah. And God, I'm wishing God you the best. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. This is from a one of our favorite listeners, whatever. We don't have favorites. But we do. Chiff. Okay, rise up. Hi, Dykes. I hope you guys are doing well. And here it goes. Remember being in love with your best friend? Yeah. Yeah, constantly. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> <laughs> to this day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, we do. Back in the day, I was stupidly in love, infatuation more like, with mm-hmm. my best friend, M. She was tall and gorgeous, and it felt like she loved me too. Oh. Looking back on it, it was just a phase for her, and she manipulated the hell out of me. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Look. We've all been there, it babe. T- it happens. <laughs> we kissed once. Parentheses. Very stiff-lipped. Oh, oh God. Am I M? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a Mackenzie stiff lip right there. <laughs> it was very stiff-lipped in the bathroom in the middle of math class. Love that. Been mm. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. In eighth grade, the relationship fell off at the beginning of freshman year. We stayed friends for the next four years, but our friendship was very on and off from flirting to straight up ignoring me. Very manipulative. When we were seniors, we both attended a school play and met in the bathroom to talk after the play was over. I'm just going to pause for a second. Yeah. I do feel like bathrooms are our bedrooms. Uh, Are there our commune? There are church. There are fellowship. There are our like areas of actual. That's where we get our shit done. You're never going to see me fucking in a bedroom. What am I married? What am I old and straight? (laughs) Bathrooms are for us. Okay. It's the beginning and the end. It's the alpha and the mega. Yeah. Sorry. But true. <clears throat> so we met up in the bathroom t- to talk after the play. In a stupid attempt to impress her, I jumped up grabbing a stall bar. Oh this is God. where Chiff is grabbing. This is so awesome. And yeah. proceeded to rip a strip <gasps> of the skin off of my hand. Can I ask a question? <laughs> Do you think Chiff was trying to grab the bar to do a pull-up? Like, how is that to impress a woman? I'm so glad that that's what you asked, because yeah. I was thinking the same like, fucking thing. Because, yeah, like, you know, there's that cool thing of, like, smacking the top of something that you get hit. You absolutely. Gra- like, Chiff grabbed it, yeah. and it tore Ripped. the skin yeah. off. We, yeah. I love Chiff. Oh. So here's a picture of the hand. Just real okay. torn. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the scar. It's the scar years later. See me oh, yeah. So this is what it looks like now. So, yeah, that's the scar. So, that was deep, yeah. And that was high school. Oh, God. Definitely not the fun times that we both, uh, not a fun time as we both walked out of the bathroom with my hand bleeding profusely Mm -hmm. over a wad of paper towel. Jeff. This was the last time that we interacted, and I haven't spoken of it since. Flash forward to now 2015, I went on a first date with my now fiance, HB. The date went very well, and as I walked them back to their dorm, instead of a hug, like a normal person, I proceeded to say bye and hit my hit the back of their book bag and stabbed myself on a pin in the exact same place where I had torn up my hand all those years all ago. Right. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. You cannot high five a date. You cannot Mm-mm. fist bump a date. No. You cannot bro hug a date. No matter how much you want to. Hug them or kiss them (laughs) like a normal human. Yeah. Ray, you going to say anything? Yeah. You know, I'm kind of like, I'm still just like kind of putting together all the information because I feel like Chiff gave us a lot of parts. Mm -hmm. The the stiff lipped kissing Mm -hmm. in the bathroom during math feels iconic to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then to be like senior year, we're going to meet back up. This is where I'm, I'm still just trying to get to how Chiff ended up ripping all that skin because off this was <laughs> chip's big moment yeah. this, all right, yeah. this was last yep. time it was four years in the making and yeah. chip was like i gotta do one thing to impress this girl yeah. Yeah. and it's gonna probably be a pull-up yes. in the bathroom I in the women's bathroom they were imagining yeah. 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 yeah 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 maybe a chin up do you ever have those moments where like and i because i fantasize about it we moved i moved too far away from my hometown to mm-hmm. ever get to have those moments mm-hmm. of like now I'm now I'm out and queer and not a hyperactive yeah. loser in <laughs> yeah. the in the band room, you know, and I have those play out, yeah. but I, I never get to have them because we live out here. And yeah. I'm at like a just friends situation where you go home and I get and to be like, hey, you're hot Lauren. shit. Now. Yeah, now you're hot and yeah. you're like comfortable in your queerness. There yeah, you go. exactly. Yeah. That. Yeah. I want to have that so bad where know, and I'm an alto. Uh, yeah. like, but yeah. EJ, has that happened to you? Has ever happened to you where you get to go back and be like, look at me now? Like, 
not in like any meaningful way. Like in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm in downtown <laughs> Portland. And yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, anybody could see me now, but like no one cares. No one's there, right. <laughs> like, but yeah. yeah. I just yeah. I do I dream of it for sure. I do feel like the this is probably the like us getting our skin kind of torn off of our hands moment mm -hmm. is what would probably happen. Yeah. You never really get to go have it. See, I had it once. You did? Where I went home for Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, there's a bar in my town. It's a big city, actually. Um, where like all of my high school would meet Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. And, oh, you know, like, yeah. I feel like totally. that happens. That's right? our Cowboy Jacks. Right. So this is, yep. it, it's kind of a dive bar. It's disgusting. And I went there and I saw some people that I went to high school with. And I was like, this is it. This is my moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, they were like, so are you here with anybody? And I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for um, these three people to show up. I was stood up by these three people. <laughs> so I, them all. I had to now join their group. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Tail between your legs. Yep. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, hey, <laughs> can I sit down with you guys? <laughs> and then cool. this actually made it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. They got so trashed. Actually, no. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it's way worse. <laughs> yeah. They got it way so better. trashed, and I just DD'd them home. Oh, oh cute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that does, to me, I hear that, and mm. that illustrates that you're doing awesome. Okay, yeah, does it? it does. Because yeah. yeah. at first I was like, yeah, you guys got too drunk to drive, so I drove you home. But then it was like, oh, I'm just the DD again. But I think that's power. <laughs> was that who you were in high school, the DD? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's really sick. I do dream about people asking me to be a DD, as I'm oh. now sober yeah i want people to be like mm -hmm. and guess what i don't even drink alcohol but people in the midwest are like that's not cool Something's up yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, totally we're still looking for our queer redemption but thank you for sending that in chef and we hope that your hand i don't think it will ever heal but hopefully the yeah. inside wounds have yeah yeah, yeah. It, i mean it sounds like they're engaged so yeah, yeah i know huge. but that's gay shame i love gay high school shame because yeah. i do feel like that's how we became ourselves 100 percent. yeah it's it's a huge part of the process. Do you have any high school shame you'd like to share? Um, any I'm stories? trying to think of like shame. I feel like I was so determined to not be gay in high school that it was kind of like, like n it's like not that fun. Mm -hmm. It's just like it was like a lot of like pent up lust. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's right. Yeah. 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 The so, pent up lust is so real. <laughs> yeah. Like it was like I wasn't acting on anything. I just had like these like people that I projected so much onto. And I was like, why do you keep inviting boys to the party? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to be here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like That was yeah. just like my whole thing. And like, yeah. I was just angry. Which yeah. is like, yeah. not cute. I do feel like the queer experience of really micromanaging a sleepover guest list. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Very. <laughs> yes. That's so true. Yeah. yeah, I was always like, well, "Why did yeah? Why did you invite all the boys? It yeah. could just be us. Yeah, it could just be us, and we just like literally Gap. hang out yeah. and just like, gap all night. Like trying to really be virtuous, but just by <laughs> getting boys out of the house. Yeah. Like yes. it's past nine p.m. Curfew says no more boys. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Trevor's. Oh my god, that's literally. Yeah. I was so virtuous because I was like, I'm gay. Yeah. But I remember telling my dad, I was like. I'm not going to have sex till I'm married. Same. And then he was like, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> he straight up was like, don't, don't. be. No one's no. asking you yeah. to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but the Lord is. And he's yeah. like, no, yeah. don't. Yeah. No. Oh. I know. Wait, who was your high school like celebrity crush? My high school celebrity crush? Mm -hmm. Um, I literally can't. <laughs> I literally can't Wait, say your name. Please. Um, I can't. I still know her. <gasps> Wait. That's so <laughs> cute. Like, it's like we're normal now. Okay. We're okay. normal now. Oh my god, humiliating. But she's a celebrity. Well, she's to me. Cute. Okay, but if you had like <laughs> mine was Megan Fox. Mine was Rihanna. Oh, if oh you're saying like, like celebrity celebrities. celebrities. Oh, I don't know a celebrity. Uh, I was you I never thought had a celebrity you celebrity Okay, so crush? in my yeah, mind, like, who, what did you think we were asking? Oh like my the god, popular I'm girl in high school? Absolutely humiliated. Yes. <laughs> that's what oh. I thought you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, like, I know Ariana Grande. Yeah. And like, we're chill now. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I was, yeah, I thought you were talking about like a girl in my high school who I was lusting after. Okay. Erase that from your microphone. Right, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's perfect. Um, my celebrity crush is bl boring, is Blake Lively and the sister oh, of the Traveling oh, yeah. Kids. No, no, that's uh, everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. most people's. Yeah. That's perfect. All right. Should we get into playing spouse? Yeah, let's do it. 
Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're going to be playing playing spouse right now. Okay. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put up a photo mm -hmm. on the screen of somebody who is going to be your spouse. Okay. And you have to let us know if you think that you would be a good spouse to this person and vice versa. Would they be a good spouse to you? Mm. And then we'll kind of decide whether you guys are divorced, married, separated with kids, or never even made it down the aisle. Oh, okay. You awesome. ready? Yeah. First one. We have Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Wow. And in this photo, her mouth is just... I just know. Wait, where is this photo from? Is this recent? <laughs> I think this might be recent. Okay. She just posted this. <laughs> <laughs> she two minutes ago posted this. Um, okay. So I kind of answer first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you want our read on it, too, we'll, we'll give you some of our thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Miley and I would... I think it would start out really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that, like... I kind of think we'd be fighting a lot. Ugh. I don't know why. Yeah. I just feel like she maybe wouldn't give me the like affirmation that I needed. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't give her like, I don't know, like the pizzazz. Pizzazz. <laughs> I, I feel like there is something about you guys fighting a lot that yeah. kind of comes up for me because yeah. I think she's in her woman scorn era right now, yes. like yeah. her new album and like she's newly single that totally. I don't know if she's ready to be anyone's spouse. You know what I mean? Right. Because she, I feel I'm like getting. she's in her like. Yeah. I think she's in her single era, but I do believe you guys would get fully married and divorced. Okay. Married and divorced quickly. Because it would be yes. so fiery. Yes. I think it would be fiery, would be, yeah. but I think that she gets bored pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. I think she's. I could see that. She's on one, like I constantly. Like, yeah. She's on to the next, on to the next. Yeah. I think musically. Yeah. Well, right. sexually. Absolutely. I yeah. bet we get a good song out of it, though. Yes. Beautiful. It'd be yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking divorce on feel, this one. Yeah, okay. divorce. But I do feel like you would be good to her, but I don't know if she would be good to you. I would try my best. She, yeah. yeah, of course. You can do so much when someone's not available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one is. We do have um, Angela Bassett. Angela okay. Bassett. So. I mean, I don't deserve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, first of all. No one but, um, deserves. I think, okay, honestly, I kind of feel like we would have a really loving thing going on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think I would maybe, I would want to, I would, I would want, I want to say that I wouldn't be intimidated by her Cheekbones. career. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but I feel like maybe she would be kind of like, you know, you're trying to be an actor, you know, and, and I don't, mm -hmm. I'm doing my thing and it would be like, she always did the thing, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I feel like I would be like, I'm trying to be so confident, but I just, I don't know if I can. Yeah. Would, is what I'm, that's what immediately I go to. It is hard, you know, being a partner. next to somebody's. Yeah so successful of right. this caliber i mean yeah iconic and iconic. there's an age gap which there's is an age gonna gap. have to be addressed so at some there's point. power dynamic i mean barely is there yeah <laughs> barely. um i think she's maybe one to two years older now. yeah so it's like not <laughs> too <laughs> big. it's not crazy it's but not it's something it's yeah something. yeah um but i think we would have fun i do think i would make her laugh yeah <laughs> i would hope Okay, I I'm feel like yeah, honestly, Angela Bassett marrying a like comedian feels kind of like good. I, I don't agree. know, kind of cool because I think she needs to be center of attention. Yeah, but you would have like all the social media following. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like things that mm -hmm. she's not aware of because yeah. I don't believe she's on Instagram or if she is, she doesn't. Need she's to not. Be. And yeah, someone else is running it. Like she's, <laughs> she's not making videos. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, I think yeah. like you would have your lane, she'd have her lane, yeah. and maybe they'd overlap. But I think you guys would be married with a couple small breaks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You so know. we're married. Things aren't. Yeah. It's not smooth sailing. But no. at the end of the day, we like love you guys each other are more solid. than anything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Imagine I the content. Her. I'm really picturing like EJ and Angela Bassett doing like a couple's like TikTok dance. There's like a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There might be cute. No, I think this would actually really work. I yeah. think they, there would only be breaks when she's filming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'd go and visit on set. I would visit on Maybe set. Yeah. Bring her little treats and stuff. Mm -hmm. Rocky yeah. start and then married open relationship. I yeah. could feel like would oh, work yeah. really yeah. well. Yeah. And people would be like, there would be weird rumors about it, but we'd be like, no, we're really happy with it. Yeah. yeah. I love this. Okay, the next one is <laughs> we do have the entire cast, the original cast of Law and Order SVU. <laughs> okay, so it's them as a group. Okay, mm -hmm. so they toss me around like a beach ball. 100%. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, yeah. cool. 
Um, let's see. The only one I recognize is that guy. What's his name again? That's Stabler. Stabler. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. AKA Christopher Maloney. Yeah. He's a hunk. Yeah. He's got a crazy ass. Um, I know this. <laughs> yeah. His ass is <laughs> out of control. Insane. Yeah. Like actually kind of crazy. Honestly. Which would be kind of actually, that might be our breaking point. Cause I kind of am the one in the relationship the, the with ass. the amazing ass. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like, it's an ass off. It's an ass off. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, that's kind of my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That does like cause tension long term. <laughs> like after a while, it's like, we're going to have to face the elephant in the room. Right. And it's like, who's got the best ass. Yeah. It's tough to compete. But yeah. then you also have Mershka Hargate. Mm-hmm. Hot. Yeah. Very hot. Yeah. Um, don't know his name. Okay. Don't know his name. All don't state. know her name. He did pass away. Okay. So Rip. <laughs> yep. So I'm thinking okay. for this. Yeah. I mean, have you watched Law and Order SVU? I have. Okay. I wouldn't call myself like a super fan by any means. An SVU head. Yeah. Yeah. I would never. Okay. But. I feel yeah. like this to me. Mm-hmm feels like a recipe for divorce. I don't even think it would get that far. I think this would be a polycule that was doomed (laughs) from the start. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be too, and this is the cast, not the actual characters. I think they're too all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Filming's intense. Filming's intense. You can't, I don't know how you're going to make it from star wagon to star wagon. Exactly. And you know, that's going to be tough. Just logistically. Yes. Well, and it's also like they have this bond mm-hmm. of like they're filming something together. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. maybe I'm a guest star, God willing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you get you would get cast for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But like that's but not the same as being no. the recurring cast. No. no, and you don't want to be like working in the you know what I mean? I like, mean, and this business. has gone on for how many years? Twenty we're in the twenty seven hundred. Yeah. 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 You so can't like, come in now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a this isn't you didn't even make it down the aisle. Maybe this is like a one night stand. I would yeah. Honestly hot. Yeah. Honestly, and I would. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. We, we all, all would. would. Okay, the next one is we do have Mount Rushmore. Um, okay. Wow. So, right. Um, uh, I think I would, I think I would participate mm-hmm. willingly and then it would just be kind of, it would fizzle out. Okay. I feel like they, it, as a one. Yeah. yeah. Them as a one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be with somebody who, unwilling to move yeah unwilling to yeah. compromise to meet you, know you where I mean? you're yeah, at you'll never be met in the middle no oh you come over no oh why don't you come over here Mm-mm. every time you're coming over here it's like why yeah. don't you come to my trumpet rehearsal and then won't right or yeah. whatever you know what i'm saying yeah i think that that's kind of that my issue it's like yeah you get the looks you get like the but the clout they're of also being married to mount rushmore right. but like but they're also always hard well, the sex will be good. That's undeniable. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not to mention the size difference. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> also, Which is actually weirdly fantasy of mine. Yeah. Because um, you want to be crushed. Want to be absolutely smushed by okay. a thousand pound rock. This, I also believe Mount Rushmore, they're seeing a lot of people every day. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you're not the only one. But it would kind of feel exciting to have been chosen. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. That's a really, really good point. Like ra- yeah. Mount Rushmore, I bet if, they decide to settle down, then it's like, that's the one. That's beautiful. Yeah. I feel like like this could be deep, long lasting marriage. Would you move for them? I don't know if I would. Yeah. Cause it's like, what do they have that I'm not getting? Well, you couldn't go out at night. Where would you go? What would you do? You know, like your social life is dead. Yeah. Right. You're sacrificing a lot, but you're also getting a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it would like. I think we'd be like excited about it. Like yes, like let's do this. And I, I don't, I don't know if I would end up walking down the aisle. Right. Wow. That's kind of where I'm feeling. Long term yeah. engagement sounds yeah. like. Yeah. That's sort of like when's the date? You know, yeah. like. <laughs> and it never comes. It yeah, never that's comes. every yeah, queer um, engagement. Okay, yeah. the next one is <laughs> we do have um, Chester the Cheeto. Wow. Chester the Cheetah from Cheetos. I yeah. have to say. The way he's, he's looking sitting. hotter yeah. and hotter. Mm-hmm. This picture is like really like sexy. Wow. Yeah. 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 I didn't know he had a beard like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The long goatee. Well, yeah. the glasses, kind of everything is the way he's sitting. giving. Yeah. It's masculine, sexy. Yeah. What is he asking us to do? Oof. Wow. He's like, sit on my lap. That's yeah. what he's saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, eat my Cheeto. That's a flaming hot Cheeto right now. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, what are your initial reactions to Chester the Cheetah? I think I would be drawn in by what we're sort of talking about, the like masculine prowess. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I would enjoy being like daddy's little boy. Yeah. 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 Um, 
100%. And then I think, I think it would kind of fade because yeah. I, I feel like I would, you know, I'd be like, let's go out tonight. And he'd be like, we've got this whole house yeah. to hang out in. I'm, I'm picturing a mansion just based 100%. on the chair he's sitting mm-hmm. in. Yeah. Because he's, you know, rich, rich. beyond belief. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to hang out with my friends. He's, he's not going to hang out with he's your like, friends. Yeah. He's like, they could come over here and be in the pool. And it's like, no, I don't want them to be in the pool. I want to go to a bar. Yeah. Right. Yes. A hundred percent. He's not going Chester's out not of the house. Going to a bar. Yeah. He's not going no, to the he's, Elysian. No, he's not, he's not go going to see the, your show. He's not going to see my show. Yeah. No. And he's like, oh, because everyone will recognize me. And it's like, well, that, you know, they kind of wouldn't give a shit go. though. Yeah. yeah. Like they're there for me. Yeah. 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 Like you're just smoking your cigar outside. Right. Yeah. <laughs> honestly he feels so toxic to yes. me as a partner yeah. like, i'm actually yeah now i'm kind like, of getting mad no, like, he's like triggering i, I think, think. He like something good... is bad here like <laughs> what making you like come up how many flaming hot cheetos can i eat for you you right. know what I mean? when can i eat them for me but yeah. it's not about that no. this is a power dynamic that i feel like for me and maybe for you as well like i've d- d- been doing this before i've been yeah. down this road yeah but like we're trying to move on no, he's a bad partner he's yeah bad. but i think he'd be a great one night stand I yeah. think he'd have a lot yeah. of fun in his mansion. Yeah. I feel like he throws a lot of pool parties. Yeah. He's kind of the Drake of chips. <laughs> the Drake of chips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I do. I know yeah. exactly what you I mean. I know like it'd be I fun, hate but this like, guy. Then done. Yeah. yeah. Like, like at first awful. I was like, oh my God, the sex, hot. Yeah. And right. now I'm like, okay, no, no. you can't buy me. He's not no, going I'm down not a on toy. anybody. I'm not a toy. Yeah. yeah, he's not. He's he's not going down on anybody. No. He's right. not going to do any oral Mm-mm. or anything. He's no. not good in bed. No. We can tell. Because he's too used to just people being excited to hook up with yeah. him. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like pretty, honestly, I don't want to say predatory, but like. It feels lazy. like a little. It's lazy. It's lazy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 100%. So what are your thoughts? But I've always <laughs> wanted to be with somebody with a tail. <laughs> I would pull the I would pull the tail for sure. Yeah. yeah. In a way that he likes. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. So um, is this a marriage, a divorce? What or do we think? We're not going down the aisle. What are your thoughts? I don't know. I would he get down on one knee though? Like, is he ready to commit? Can I say something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys. Go. <laughs> I feel like deep down, yeah, this is he, you. But you, no, I think that you. This is me. If I was never got sober, <laughs> yeah. um, I feel like he would bring it all the way down to like flattering you, flattering you, engaged diamonds, jewels. Yeah, you get to the courthouse. He's already married. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and he acts like it's no big deal. Right. He's, He's like, like, sorry. I forgot yeah. about that. Right. He's like, Shit. what? I love you. You're like, that's not enough. Right. Yeah. I so I don't think you could be able to get married because he's already married. I think that's I think that's really accurate. That sounds right. Yeah. And honestly, EJ, you deserve better. Thank you. You do. So I, I think we give yeah, it to um, Angela Bassett. I do believe yeah. that would be out of maybe this, the best. Yeah, yeah, I think we would have match. fun. I think it would be sweet. Yeah, because yeah. not th- like she would be there at your show. She would. And yeah. she, she would. And, and she would have things it. to say about yeah. it. She would like tell people to come. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think that's going to be your best partner. I agree. And actually, we have her here, Angela. <laughs> oh my come god! On in. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Yes. <laughs> wow, oh, you did yeah. a really good job. Thank you for playing. Thank you so much. You would be a great spouse. You would. Congrats. Thank you. Okay. Wow, we had such a fun time. Um, <laughs> EJ, you were a superb guest. Yeah, Thank you, were you so, so much for being on with two dikes and a mic. Is uh, there any like where can we follow you? Is there anything you want to promo? Obviously, your show is coming up. Yeah, come see my show. Um, my my name on everything is EJ Having Fun. Um, and are you? And I am constantly. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's and the you, thing about me. You can see us in Glendale on Sundays playing softball. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't come put that watch out a game. There. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they will come oh, out there. Never mind. <laughs> We're busy. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. I'm Mackenzie Goodwin. I'm Rachel Scanlon. And I'm EJ Marcus. Go do something gay today. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.